okay, let's see if we can play around with the parameters of this prediction model to get a better understanding of how the changing the parameters changes the shape of our prediction model. So over here on the right hand side, I have the parameter for the intercept. That's the beta zero. I have the cold calls parameter. It's our beta one. And I have the slope for our veteran that's beta two. These values are plugged in to the beta zero, beta one, and beta two here. And I've now plotted each one of those into this chart. Our goal is to alter these to get a better sense of what's going on. Okay, for now, cold calls is a positive and somewhat small. And since it's positive, we do know that as the number of cold calls increase, we expect it to see an increase in the probability that someone will successfully make a purchase. Let's bump that number up a little bit and see how it affects our curves. 0.35. Notice how by increasing the parameter, we see that the number of cold calls becomes much more effective at closing a sale much faster. Let's switch this to negative. What do you think will happen? I'll try negative 0.25. A little hard to see in this chart because of the scaling, but you can see that it's actually decreasing. Let's try something negative and smaller. There we go. As cold calls increase, it reduces the probability that we'll close a sale. And at zero, the line's flat, meaning no matter how many cold calls you make, because it's multiplied by zero, it has absolutely no effect on the probability of sale. I'll switch it back to 0.15. Now, let's take a look at the effect of being a veteran. Right now, it's large and positive, and veteran is the code of one, new person's code of zero. So when we plug in a one here, down in the equation, we multiply that by the 1.62, and since it's positive, Clearly, we see that veterans are more effective at closing sales than new hires are. If we want to exacerbate that effect, we should probably make it even larger. So let's change it to 2.5. We can see that increase. If it turns out that veterans and new hires are very similar, we could shrink that number to something much smaller, like 0.15. And now we can see that uh, veterans are only a tiny bit more effective at, this, at the same number of cold calls as a new hire. And if that, we set it to zero, there should be no difference at all, and the lines just perfectly overlap one another. Great. I'll switch this back to 1.6. Okay, now what does this intercept do? I'm going to drop the intercept down to negative 2. Notice how it just took the entire curve and shifted them to the left. I'll make it larger negative, negative 5. All it did was actually take the shape of the curves and shifted them entirely to the right. I set it to zero, moves the curve way far over. Now keep in mind, we don't normally just play around with these values. We actually want them objectively calibrated correctly to the data that we're using. In this little video, I just wanted to show you the impact of each one of these parameters on the actual shape of the curves that we would draw in our response model.